In this part two of the table join video, we're going to show the simple install process of this custom. Remember, this is a unsupported, meaning this is something that uh, Julian and Mutas wrote. Uh, don't call support asking for support because they wouldn't even know what you're talking about. Um, but to install it, you know that in the video description, there is the link to the public box folder you'll find these two files, table join and config.txt. We talked about this one before. It's actually all you need to do is install that table join.zip. To do that, as usual, you, you go here on the extension management at put where that file is and click uh, add. And when you do that, it reminds you that this is not digitally signed by IBM, therefore not supported officially. So you click install and sometimes I get, uh, lately I haven't seen this before, that you get the install button that is not grayed out when in reality it is, uh, it is not ready. So I'm pausing the video until that completes. Click in here and install. We're done with that part. Now, the rest is to take these three commands and you need to open a terminal and execute it. The first one creates this directory. The second one puts, and here you need to replace where your IQ, uh, your curator IP address is. That gets redirect, redirected to this uh, AQL function property file that uh, is in the directory we just created above and this one puts a token into that table as well. Let's execute those three commands. Let's copy them into the clipboard and execute them all at once. I SSH into the curator box and I paste those commands and execute them and that's all we need. To test this out, you take this search and you're going to run it in the network activity tab, but let's make sure that you have, in this particular case, sysmon uh, logs and flows coming from the same machines. And if not, then you will alter the use case as, as you see it fits. So let's go here, paste that click search and that's going to create that variable that we spoke on the first video uh, that we're going to use in the second search. Let's go back into the activity tab, the log activity tab, grab all these and we are going to run it. We're pasting it in there, hit enter and we see the results where we have combined elements from sysmon logs stuff that is common from sysmon logs and network activity making that tuple that allows us to provide a key to search from both and then these two parameters with which are specifically from netflows